Okay, welcome to linuxin.com YouTube channel. My name is Talha and today I'm going to explain to you what is VPS. So the idea is that if you have been going on to Google to look for VPS, you might not be able to understand due to some difficult definitions. I'm not going to give you a book definition. I'm going to give you an example so that you understand better what is a VPS. In this video, there are going to be three sections. One, in which I would explain to you what is VPS. Secondly, I'm going to tell you that what service you can use for VPS, which is most affordable, best performance. And number three, I'm going to tell you that how you can buy, I'm basically going to show you how you can buy the service of VPS and how you can set it up. So without a further ado, let's start. Okay, so now let's discuss what is a VPS. I'm gonna give you a very simple example. Uh, let's say that your name is Alex, okay, just assume. You have two friends, Bob and Sally, okay? So Bob and Sally and you, you come to me and you say, okay, we want some water. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna pour some water into this white cup and I'm gonna give it to you. And I say, okay, Bob, Sally and Alex, you three drink from this cup. Okay, the same water you're going to drink from this cup. This is called share hosting, which is very popular and you might have used shared hosting uh, if you're on a website. So the thing is that your website is going to be hosted along with other people's website. This is shared hosting. Then you have this bottle, which is a, let's say that it is a dedicated server. Okay, dedicated server is, it means that you are going to use this server alone. Okay, the server is just for you. But in the case of VPS, let's say Alex, Bob and Sally, you three come to me and what I do that I pour some water into these three cups. Okay, let's just assume that I pour water into these three cups and I give it to you separately. This cup is for Bob. This cup is for Sally and this cup is for you. So the idea is that this thing separately uh, that I've done, I've given water to you separately. This is VPS, Virtual Private Server, okay? So hope you've got the point. It was very simple. In VPS, you have your own resources such as RAM, disk space and other resources, okay? So that's what a VPS is. It was that simple. Hope you've got the point. Okay, now let's move on to section number two, in which we are going to talk about which service provider you should choose and which one is best for you. So I'm going to tell you our story. Since 2016 and 17, Linuxin.com has used multiple service providers. And trust us, we were not satisfied until we found Liquid Web Hosting. Linuxin.com is totally hosted on Liquid Web. And I'm gonna tell you that these are one of the best guys out there. We won't recommend you someone who we don't trust. We trust Liquid Web Hosting and you can trust them with your eyes closed. All right, enough talking. Now let's jump right into our computer and let's compare service providers and then see which one is best for us. And then I'm gonna show you how to sign up and how to set up your VPS in the third section. Okay, so let's jump right into our computer. Here you can see that in Google, I have searched liquid web hosting. Now, here is the link, you click on it, or you can also go to liquidweb.com directly. All right, we also have the link in the description of liquid web on the direct page where you can go and sign up and purchase your VPS service. Here you can see that you have multiple options. What you need to do is that you need to go here to the products and just click on it. Or you can also click on the VPS from here or you can click on view all products as well. I will click on view all products. And here you can see that there are multiple products that these guys offer. I really believe in them. I really have confidence in them. Um, you should give it a go because these guys are one of the best out there. Click on the VPS. You will go to this page. Okay, it would take you to this page after you click on it. Before I buy the VPS hosting, I'm going to show you a comparison 
of Liquid Web with other service providers. So in case of Liquid Web, it's going to give you the uptime SLA, which is going to be 100%. On HostGator, it's 99.9, uh, which is not much difference. But if you see the other services, which includes the offer server backups by default, it offers multi-level DDoS protection, which is not available in HostGator, but it's available in Liquid Web. You can see that these are all the services which are available in Liquid Web and they are all available in the GoDaddy as well. But here, the total VPS cost is going to be $99 per month. But in the case of HostGator, it's going to be $130 per month. And in case of GoDaddy, it's going to be $120 per month. So Liquid Web Hosting is the best option and it is the best choice out there uh, if you compare it with other competitors. So now on this page, you have an option to choose a VPS server whether you want to choose the Linux and you want to choose Windows. No thanks, I would stick to Linux. And then you have multiple options. If you want 2 gigabytes of RAM, it's going to cost you $35 per month in the case of 12 month package purchase. For 4 gigabytes, it's going to be expensive. And then for 8 gigabytes, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. And then for 16 gigabytes, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. But if you compare in terms of the services that you would get, it's really cheaper. Okay. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to choose monthly package, which is going to cost me $59 per month. So I'm going to click on order now button. So after hitting the buy now button, it would take me to a page which looks like this. So here I would keep this two gigabytes SSD in which we I have uh, the disk which is like 40 gigabytes and the memory or the RAM is two gigabytes. So if you want to choose any other package, be sure to do so. And it's going to cost you a little more, but in return, you're going to get a lot more value. Uh, the more higher you go, the more money you save and the more value you get. So now let's go ahead and here you can choose a cloud server. So now there are two types of cloud servers. One is self-managed server and the other one is fully managed service. So I don't really trust myself. I don't want to do it. I don't want to manage the server myself. So I'll always choose the fully managed one. Okay. But if you think you're a pro and you want to use your server yourself, you can choose the self-managed servers. In the self-managed server thing, you're going to have all the access. These guys are just going to manage the hardware and your network, nothing else. Everything you'll manage yourself. In the self-managed, it's pretty little bit easy. These guys manage it for you. Okay, I don't trust myself. I trust them. So they will manage it for me. So now I have selected the fully managed server. Um, I would go down here, scroll it down. And here I can add extra bandwidth if I want to. I would keep it 10 terabytes. And then I can basically uh, check for additional volume for network storage. And I can also change the counter pricing plan, okay, the backup plan. In here, you, if you want, you can have no backups, which I don't recommend. Always go for quota pricing, which is really good. If you want to pay per gig, then you can also do it. And here, you can also have multiple IP addresses. So you can have up to seven IP addresses. And the thing is that only one IP address is going to cost you only $2. Okay, so if you have seven IP addresses, it's going to cost you just $14. So now let's just go ahead and here click on add to cart. Okay, now you have reviewed everything and now click on add to cart and it would take you to the next page. Okay, so on the next page, these guys are going to offer you some services. If you want them, you can add them to your cart. I would click on continue without adding these services. Okay, for now. And it would take me to the 
next page where I can basically check out. You would get to this page where you can check your configuration, okay? So click on this plus button and they will show you that this is the selected configuration that you have. So review that. I have reviewed it. That's what exactly I want. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to check out, okay? So when I click on the checkout button, here, what you need to do is that you need to click on the sign up with Google or you can also put in here your email address, your first name and last name, your username and password and then you can verify the password. So I'm going to fill in the details. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put in here all the details and my billing info and my payment details and then I can pay them for their services. Okay, so now I have entered all the details. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on save and continue. So you can see that it says processing. So here, I would select the payment method. Uh, if you want to pay via PayPal, you can select that. If you want to pay via credit card, you can also select that. So I'm going to pay through credit card. So you're going to put in here your card number. So I'm going to put in quickly. Okay, so once I have added the card, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to give here the service info. Uh, I'm gonna give here some example domain, which of course I own. And then I'm going to basically check this. I have read and agree to Liquid Web's terms and services. And then basically click on submit your order. So it would process it. Your card will be charged for $59 per month and then you can see that here I have this message which says your order has been completed and I've been charged $59 uh, per month. So here you can also see the summary of your order which is like you can check the, this is the selected configuration for your cloud VPS server. Okay, so now our order is complete. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna click on my account and we're gonna click on this check out our great products. Okay, so when you will click on it, it would take you to another page. In the meantime, you can check your email where you will receive your details and it would tell you that your server or your VPS is ready. Now here you would get to this page and there you can click on my account. So now you will come to this page. So click on VPS simply. Okay, so now you would get onto a page something like this where you can basically uh, click here um, and you would get an option here public SSH keys. You can view your keys if you have any but right now we won't have any SSH keys available. If you want to set up your SSH keys, I recommend you, you watch our next video, not this one. I'm going to show you in another video how to add SSH keys. So stay tuned for that. I'm also going to show you how to connect to your server uh, from your computer. Okay, so we're going to connect to our server using our Ubuntu machine. So now here you can come onto your home page and here click on cloud hosting for host alhasaf.com so this is my name this is the domain name that i own and this is the name of my server as well okay so on this page you can see that i have this host name i have my primary ip i have this management level which is fully managed i have my ram size uh, two cores are assigned to my cpu and i have this operating system which is fully managed okay centos 64 bit here you can see that I have three dots. If I want to edit the name of the host, I can also do that. I can also clone the server and if I want to destroy the server, I can do so by clicking on this destroy server button. If I click on edit host name, here you can see that this is the server uh, host name. I can change it to whatever I want. 
Uh, you can see that here it's, it says server host names cannot have spaces or special characters. So make sure while you're renaming it, you don't give any uh, spaces okay so you can change it to pretty much whatever you want but i like to keep it that way now i would come down here and here you can see that it again it shows me the public ip address i can also view my private ip if i want to it gives me all the other details and it also shows me uh, the server load here okay I can also check my activity log. In order to check activity log, just click on activity log and then click on continue to manage. So here you can see that for the server host.talhasf.com, I'd be able to see the history against it. So here you can see that uh, in the history, today is 11th January 2021. If I click on the plus button, I'll be able to see all the history. So here you can see, first of all, the creation of the server um, started and uh, on 4.33, uh, it started the disk synchronization, then it updated the configuration, it then it assigned the IP address and then so on and so forth. And in the end, you can see that it the server uh, creation was completed. But before that, you can see that it says, I have sent you the welcome email, uh, which means that uh, this one the email that I've got okay before that I got the welcome email as well um, so these are all the steps that till now we have performed on our server so if you want to resize your server you can pretty much do so by clicking here on the resize button but of course uh, you have to buy additional uh, space if you ever would like to go forward and buy more space so you can do it right inside here okay that's it from this video i hope you have enjoyed it you have learned something new and more importantly you know what is a vps now so thank you so much for watching give this video a like a thumbs up if you really liked it and if you're not subscribed to our channel please do so by clicking the red button below and hit the bell icon for the notification so that you can get a notification whenever we post our next video.